Ladies and gentlemen, friends and neighbors, welcome to the Lionsgate Talent Showcase. Or to paraphrase the popular TV show, Lionsgate's Got Talent. Or to paraphrase Tilly Spetgang, Know Your Neighbor's Talent. Bonnie Rosenberg has a wonderful talent for patchwork. She creates very large designs and sews together small pieces of cloth in intricate pattern that make beautiful patchwork wall hangings. We don't see much of Edie Silver, because she's a live wire during the day, but she does not stay up late enough to attend this performance. Edie has a great talent of writing what she calls rhyme, poems about people, places, and things. And she's going to present some samples of her work. Here's Edie. Um, Edie Silver. And I am very happy to write rhymes about everybody and everything I can think of. I'm going to read a couple of rhymes for you. This one is for Ernie J. Who is Ernie? He's our friend. His help with email has no end. We get our weekly menu done as Ernie sends us every one. He also mails the weekly plan with all the timing when he can. Ernie has the smarts to find intelligence of every kind. We are lucky to be on his list. Don't quit, Ernie. You'd be missed. <laughs> That's very nice. Now, this one very is nice. for our rabbi and for Lionsgate interest in faith. Shalom Alechem, Lionsgate friends. Here your Judaism never ends. Rabbi Aaron conducts his lessons in the chapel's frequent sessions. You can learn the proper rules and will never feel like fools. On holidays and Shabbos too, the rabbi's prayers are here for you. Our foods are kosher all the time. Shalom to all with Edie's rhyme. Irv Leshner is a mechanical engineer and has been flying his own airplane for a number of years. About 10 years ago, he decided to build his own plane. And here's a picture of it flying. It's been certified by the FAA. And although it's grounded at present, Irv works on it in all of his spare time and hopes to be flying it again soon, even though he's in his mid-90s. Frank Orlin plays the electronic organ, which is obviously too big to bring to the stage. So he's giving us a treat by playing in his apartment. And as you'll see, he has two organs. And his answer to that is, well, he has a spare in case one breaks. Here is Frank.
this painting was uh, shown in a show at the Perkins Art Center uh, in Collingswood. The theme of the show was in the pink and uh, my painting used predominantly shades of pink uh, in the work. Did you know that Phil Hirsch writes books? Lots of them. Check them out on Amazon. Here's an example of Della Jacobson's fine needlepoint work reproducing the painting of an old Dutch master. Yeah. Uh, à coup de pourquoi le cœur du bonheur uh, coup is C-O-U-P-S blows de pourquoi le cœur du bonheur he translated that as with questions that were like blows the heart of happiness that's uh, it's a little free translation, but uh, I guess that's as close as he could get. And then it's the refrain, ne me quitte pas, ne me quitte pas, ne me quitte pas. That was the first stanza. The second stanza is, moi, je ferai. And then came this God particle, this Higgs boson that is supposed to uh, cause matter to develop the way it did and in such a fashion that we were able to have human life eventually on our planet. So uh, they, it is believed that the people who have discovered this Higgs boson particle will be awarded the Nobel Prize and that will say. All right, we're going to go into Israel and all things Jewish. We covered general matters. Obama, our president, is going to be visiting Israel in two days. And there is a big push to free an American.
the talented ladies of the Lionsgate Knitting Club meet every Friday afternoon and knit these colorful lap robes for patients in the nursing home. The ladies are not only talented, but very industrious, as they have knitted more than 300 of these lap robes so far. The late Max Camel was a photographer extraordinaire. He was a member of several camera clubs and also had several exhibitions. Although he passed away shortly after moving to Lionsgate last year, I'm sure that he would like you to see some of his photos. <laughs> 